Okay, building with Papa. Right now we're going to um, take this truck and trailer. Okay, they have a seven pin. All right, and he got an electric jack for his trailer. It also has a seven pin. He also has a battery inside. Remember the video I did never buy, buy another battery again? Well, that was this battery for his trailer. He's got it in there, it's working on his lights and it's working really well. Problem is he doesn't have it charged up. So I'm going to tie it in for him for his off his seven pin to charge up his 12 volt battery inside that's going to run his lights so that whenever he hooks up his trailer with the seven pin his battery will be charging also i'm going to go ahead and install some fans for him he bought a couple fans and what i'm going to do is i'm going to install these fans in his trailer okay because he is working this is where he works he gets his his stuff he uh has it here in his trailer he has to take it out and bring it into the stores Got the two fans because when he's working in there it's pretty hot okay want to get some air circulation in there for him all right this way while he's working he can stay a little bit cool while he's inside the trailer all right well let's get started the first thing you want to do is look at your seven pin now this ram um truck seven pin shows you you have your positive power here your negative power here okay now we're going to check it and make sure that that's correct i'm going to have to start the truck and then know that those two pins are positive and negative that'll tell me what it is on the seven pin and i'll be able to track those lines and get it to the battery the truck is running. I'm going to turn this on. Positive up the top and negative down the bottom. See what we get. Okay, we got 14. That means that alternator is pumping it out, okay? We're getting plenty of power to be able to charge the other battery, okay? So now, now we have the seven pin, okay? The notch goes into the top, so we know this is the positive and this is the negative, okay? We trace those two wires and then we're going to run new wire into the trailer and put it in the uh, on the battery okay now we're going to put an inline fuse so if there's any problem ever that the fuse will blow and not cause any damage all right well let's get started okay well this is going to make it a little easier he has a small 12 volt battery here that handles the brakes for the trailer so he has a negative is the white. We know that. This is all coming from the seven pin. The white is the, the negative and the black here is the positive. Okay, which the positive is running off of here going to keep this battery charged. Okay, so that he has brakes on the trailer. All right, so all I have to do is run one more wire inside. I don't know if I have enough room in this to run it in what's there, but I'm gonna give it a try. If not, I'm just going to add it to uh, what we have. All right, well, here we go. Okay, this is the battery that we had in the video. Never buy a battery again. Okay, I had charged it up, but since then, I have charged it up, but since then, he's just been using it directly to take care of the lights, okay? 
We're hooking up the seven pin to this battery. I wanna show you where it is right now, even though he's been using it for weeks. It's at 12.17, 12.17. So it needs to be charged, okay? It's operating the lights, so it's not using a lot of power, but he's got a seven pin. He can charge this, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's start. We're gonna pull this battery out. Now I can't get back into where these wires are to get it outside, so I'm gonna have to drill a hole. Okay, so I found a spot behind the battery case where I can go through, be a nice place outside to be able to run this battery. Okay, got the hole through, going through the bottom. Now we're gonna run the wire. Okay, I've run it through the floor and now I've got it in the case. All right, we're gonna make our connections outside so to make sure we have enough wire. Okay, here's the wire coming through the floor and then I'm bringing it over here to bring it in the box. Okay, we're going to cover that. Okay. He also has an electric jack. So being we're running these wires, we're going to hook everything up together. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in to this box. Before I, I cut this, remember now, this is the top of the seven pin, so we know that's the hot and that's the negative. Got to get these screws out so that you can take, okay. So we know hot was black, okay. So it has a groove to where that was in the top pin, all right. And then so this is hot, which is black, and this yellow green is the neutral. So now that we know the black is definitely hot, it's what I would have assumed, but we don't like to assume. So I know I have enough wire to get into this box, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. All right. Now we saved this seven pin in case we ever have a problem with the other one, we can use this. Put everything back in so that you don't lose it. All right, now we're going to go.
Okay, so you can now see I have the red wire going through, the coating on the outside. I have the black and yellow wire going through. I had to op open the plastic box, we get that coating so it all stays together. All right, now let's hook it up. a little bit it's better to use wire strippers but as long as you're careful okay the wire in now we're going to connect it but the first thing we do is we're going to put an inline fuse okay and I went with the bigger top type because it has a smaller one here that just works with the light the one I'm connecting is going to be working with seven pin charging this battery but also a jack the electric jack so I'm using a bigger fuse but you want to fuse in line so that if you ever have any trouble, the fuse will blow before you burn down your trailer. He didn't have this battery down very tight. So. Okay, so this has a notch in it so that you can get a good connection. So we have that side. haven't put the fuse in so it's not going to run power down this line Okay, we have it connected. We haven't put the fuse in. So we can go ahead and put the battery back in the box. All right. I have the black wire that's coming off the seven pin. We know that that's the hot, okay? So I put one of these on there. And now I'm gonna take the The red wire that I have tied to the battery right now, but I don't did not put in the breaker yet. Okay, we're gonna put that in here. We're going to splice these together. Now 
we're going to take this black wire and we're going to attach it to the red that's going to the battery. We're going to attach this one to the white. Okay, everything's hooked up to the battery. Okay, we're going to hook up the seven pin. We're going to start it up, and then we're going to see how it's charging the big battery. The truck is started up. All the wiring is complete. It's over 13, 13, 13, 15, so the battery is charging. And for anybody else who wants to do this, this is your step-by-step, -step. all right? Build it with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. All right, thank you. Please make a comment. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up. All this helps. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.